Uh, guys, look, I am so terribly sorry that I couldn't be with you uh, this morning. Um, I've obviously been um, over here listening to uh, uh, Bill Shorten uh, put Labor's um, alternative budget, and I have to say that I am very proud to be uh, part of a, of a Labor team that is prepared uh, to make some very, very bold uh, uh, statements and to really act at the same time in a, in a manner that is responsible. I mean, I think the thing that has most stunned us about Mal Malcolm Turnbull's budget is just how completely and utterly irresponsible it is and how it just simply is not sustainable and how it actually doesn't offer us any uh, prospect really of jobs and growth. Now look, there's some attractive elements in it uh, for small business and we've uh, certainly agreed that we will be supporting those tax cuts uh, for, uh, for small business but we want those cuts to be genuinely for small business. Uh, for the 83% of, of, of businesses uh, that uh, have turnovers of, uh, of under, uh, under $2 uh, million, we do not believe that what is being proposed by, by Malcolm Turnbull in terms of lowering the tax rate, expanding that definition eventually till it comes to companies uh, that have a turnover of $1 million, uh, and reducing that tax from uh, its current rate to 25% can be sustained by our economy. That is a tax cut that is, will cost us $49 billion over the next 10 years. We, we see that our deficit in the last three years, that the deficit has tripled. Uh, that we have, we are really looking at a situation where our triple A credit rating will be at risk. Now, Labor has put forward a bold plan that has as its at its core uh, a more focus on on education, on jobs, and on creating new industries. Believing that we can have uh, an industry in Australia, and we'll be investing. Um, heavily in uh, renewable energy and those issues that are associated with climate change. Around the world, two million jobs have been created in this area in Australia since the uh, Abbott Turnbull government uh, has come to power. We have actually lost jobs in that sector. We want jobs of the 21st, uh, for the 21st century. So what we're saying to you, look, there's some um, uh, there are some things in there that we will be supporting, like the, uh, the tax cut to genuinely small businesses, uh, and we also will be supporting the raising of the uh, tax threshold from 80000 to 87000 We believe that that is sustainable. But what we've put forward is $71 billion worth of, of revenue savings over the, la over the next uh, over the next 10 years so that we can in fact have a budget that is sustainable that can give us room uh, to do those uh, to do those things that are important to stimulate new industries to assist people um, in this community as a businessman said to me just today Perth businessman he said look the tax rate Playing around at the edges of the tax rate is not the real issue for business. The real issue for business is we want a prosperous economy. We actually need to have customers that have got jobs, that can afford to buy our goods and services. And we can't see anything in the budget that has been produced by Malcolm Turnbull that is going to strengthen our economy. In fact, we believe that it is putting our economy at risk with reckless, unfunded budget promises. Thanks very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very pleased that you've come along. You've got the absolutely fabulous Ben Wyatt and Tim Hammond that will be there uh, to get your feedback and to discuss these issues with you. But it's going to be a great, uh, a great few weeks. Um, we'll be having an election on the 2nd of uh, July, and you have two alternate visions for the country to choose from. Thanks very much.